Oliver's standing in a big science laboratory, surrounded by test tubes filled with colourful bubbling liquids. She wore a white lab coat and a big pair of safety goggles. Suddenly, she heard a voice. Ah, no, 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 no. What is the answer to this problem? Olive turned around and saw a small man in a lab coat. He was muttering to himself and staring into a microscope. Hello, I'm Olive. Ouch, you startled me. I am Professor Comover, but you can call me Hair Comover. I am a very busy scientist. What can I do for you? I was going to ask you the same thing. Are you in a spot of bother? I've been trying to invent a cure for baldness for many years. It's driving me mad. The professor turned and picked up two bottles from the table. I need to mix together the right ingredients for the cure. If I do, I will have beautiful flowing hair again. Oh, how I miss my hair. Look, this is me when I was younger. Handsome, eh? I just can't find the right ingredients. I don't know much about ingredients for your cure, I'm afraid. Then Olive spotted something in the corner of the lab. Hmm, a mop? I think I may have an idea. Close your eyes, hair comb over. Professor comb over closed his eyes. Olive pulled the handle off the mop and stuck it on top of the professor's head. You can open your eyes now. The professor looked in a mirror. I, I look like my great aunt Brunhilde. He shrieked. I don't want this. I want to grow my own. All right, keep your hair on. <sighs> look, if you really want to help, uh, I need you to get that big blue book down from the shelf. Well, this book can't have been open in a very long time. It's covered in dust. Olive opened the book and dust flew up everywhere. And Olive couldn't help sneezing. Achoo! The sneeze made her fall backwards into a shelf filled with hundreds of bottles. One of them toppled over and poured orange liquid into a beaker of purple liquid on the table. No, wait, that's not good. Cried the professor. All of a sudden there was a huge... Bang! I don't believe it. It's a miracle. You did it, Olive. You found the cure for baldness. You are a scientific genius. <laughs> Professor Comover was so excited, he danced about all over the place. Thanks very much. Beamed Olive. It was then she caught her own reflection in the mirror. <laughs> Well, I like it, but this huge hairdo could take some getting used to. Hey, would you like me to style yours a bit? Why not? Replied the professor. Using a comb and a pair of scissors, Olive went to work styling the professor's new hairdo. What do you think? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Thank you very much. Well, it looks like you won't be needing to read this dusty old science book anymore. Oh, no. I'm going to... jump. I've lost all me hair. Oh, well. Here today, gone tomorrow, eh? <laughs> they both laughed. And as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again. Said her mum. Actually, I've been helping cure boldness. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs> <laughs>